I'm Jane Hamlet. Um, I'm a lecturer in modern British history here in the department and my specialist area is um, the material world in the 19th and early 20th centuries and I'm particularly interested um, in middle class houses and what happened to the families that lived there and I'm also working on a new project on institutions in the 19th century. I'm doing a case study of lunatic asylums, public schools and lodging houses and it's all about how they were furnished and arranged and what the items and objects that people used in those spaces meant to them. So, for example, I'm thinking about what happened to um, a patient in a lunatic asylum, what objects were they allowed to bring in and how did that help them remember uh, the places they'd come from. Um, so, my teaching in the department. Um, I teach on a number of different courses, but um, in particular I teach a broad 20th century course which is about society and culture in modern Britain. Um, and we look at change across the period, including the two First World Wars and how um, class and gender relationships changed in Britain in this period. But I'm also very keen on the Victorians, the 19th century, um, and I teach a course from Rates to Respectability, which looks at the change between the 18th and 19th centuries, and in particular, how British society changed with the arrival of the Industrial Revolution, and what happened to class and gender relationships when, um, that, when that occurred. So how British society was really transformed in this period. And my specialist interest is material culture and the visual world in particular. So the group three, the third year course I offer, is all about film and photography in Britain. So we look at what happened when photography was first invented in Britain and how it was used in a variety of different ways and really how we can interpret the vast archive of photographs that survives from the period and especially um, family photography. Um, I'm also very interested in film and on this course um, we look very closely at the emergence of British film in the 20th century.